Okay, so if you guys clicked on this video, you guys obviously want to know how the defense formation works. Where you could find the play is in the 40, 49ers playbook under 5-2. It's cover 3. Um, when you use this formation, the pre-play look is so important. So on the screen... I put all the white lines where those guys are going. And you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 defense alignment. And that's what makes this play so good. The diversity of it and the different looks out of it. And you can see in the middle, I underline the most important people. So your user is really important, which my user is on the left. The linebacker is really important under this look. And then the safety up top is really important. <clears throat> so my user's job is most of the time is to guard the running back or whoever's over him. Like I said, it depends on the offense look. Whatever he's coming out, you have to pay attention to. Either way, you're going to be on that side. Um, and then the middle linebacker. So most of the time, you could catch your opponent off guard. Like I said, it does depend a lot because he's not in a heavy formation. So if I were to blitz him right now, he's automatically going to get to the quarterback. No one's there to block him. Like I said, having five defense alignment, which is the 5-2 formation, is what makes it really good. And then that other safety that I underlined, he's important because he's pressed down. You want to press down your quarterbacks and your safeties because you guys who do play Madden are obviously educated how to beat cover three so easy. You throw it to the seams, which you would just put a guy in the slot on a vertical, which is how you beat cover three, which is so easy. So if you press him down, which I believe that's the tight end, though. I don't know, though, for sure. It looks like the tight end. Um, And he cannot put him on a vertical and beat me so easily. And this formation is so good because right here, I'm playing Y. Like, I'm just letting him know I'm not blitzing you. I'm not acting like I'm blitzing you. But, like I said, you could also use her, that linebacker. And you could blitz yourself if you don't want to use her, the other safety. And, by the way, that safety is on the flat. He's not playing. Like, the two safeties aren't back. It's covered three. He's playing flat. So, instead of in a regular covered three... Like a 4-3, you would have a linebacker playing the flat, but it's more diverse because the safety's faster. But like I said, you could blitz yourself with the safety. No one's there to block him. Like you could put him right next to Joey Bosa, I believe. I mean Nick Bosa, oh my god. You could put him right next to Nick Bosa and just straight blitz. And if the running back goes out, you just follow the running back. Or you could just straight blitz... Um. Joe Burrow and then you want to also contain the defense alignment so what is so important about this formation is bait and your user so I acted like I was following his running back and then right away my job is to cover the flats and he obviously was not going to throw it to um the running back because I was guarding him so I just dropped right back to cover the out route. But he had the guy on a curl. Um, so it didn't work out. And then, yeah, he did end up quitting. And then this is the last clip of an example of user rushing. And Joe Burrow is going to break this sack. And nah, he's not done. You know, he's going to break another sack. And I'm not going to say it's unrealistic. So.